Howdy guys and welcome to my shiny fossil video. I finally sat down in Kanto and obtained all the shiny fossil Pokemon available in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I wanted to complete these hunts for a while but just put off setting them up for so long. I always enjoy soft resets and it was nice to find all these targets so quickly. Anyways, the stars of the show in this showcase are definitely Kabuto and Ammonite, so let's get into some facts about the creatures that inspired their designs. We will start with Ammonite. Ammonite is based off of an extinct spiral-shelled cephalopod called an Ammonite, which first appeared 240 million years ago. Ammonites were theorized to have jaws that were sharp and shaped like a beak, and we can see that with Amistar's design. Ammonites were thought to have spent most of their time in shallow waters based off of their diets of creatures that tend to inhabit these places. I've also heard before that some scientists theorize that Ammonites were bioluminescent, but I couldn't find any other sources to back this up, so don't quote me on this. Now, on to Kabuto, which takes inspiration from trilobites and horseshoe crabs, but we'll just talk about horseshoe crabs here. Horseshoe crabs are some of my favorite animals. I have heard some people theorize that they're actually arachnids, but I'm not sure if that's confirmed yet or not. Horseshoe crabs predate the dinosaurs and haven't evolved much in the past 200 million years. This is why they are often referred to as living fossils. People often find the appearance of these creatures intimidating, but did you know they're harmless? Even their tails, which many people assume are stingers, can't harm you. The tail's only purpose is to help flip the crab over. And lastly, horseshoe crabs, much like scorpions, glow under ultraviolet light, or black light, and no one seems to know why. I hope you enjoyed these facts. Please enjoy the shiny reactions. Lieutenant Booster, what's up, man? All right, you came in just in time. I've spent like the last like 45 minutes um, setting this hunt up. We got a third horsey. This is our third horsey, yes, we got today. The topless is good. I like that one. Oh, shiny Kabuto already! Are you kidding me? What in the world? <laughs> okay, nature guesses. I guess sassy. I win. I'm right. I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe that actually just happened already. All that setup. The setup was longer than actually finding one. Crazy. Alright, hang on. That's... I... Alright. You also guessed sassy? You're right. You're right. Okay. Kabuto number one is down. We only need um one more. Right? I I cannot believe that. Hang on this one second. Alright, I'll see you in the next shiny for those of you watching on YouTube. Oh, another shiny Kabuto! Wow, okay, hang on. Oh my gosh! You know, I think one of those just found a horsey, too. Or this same game just found a horse too. That is crazy. I cannot believe that we actually found two Kabuto already. All we need now is, um, wow. Ammonites and Aerodactyl, obviously. I don't know how I'm going to get Ammonites because I tried to mess with the event flags. I tried to get Ammonites back in some of these games, but it's not working. But wow, already another Kabuto. I cannot believe that. Two quick Kabuto. We get the Ammonites and Aerodactyls and then we'll be done. I suppose what I can do is just make all these Kabuto. Well, I can try to make all these Kabuto um, Aerodactyl. Very cool to see. We are done with the Kabuto line. I'm going to... I guess in the reaction here, because it's not really much of a reaction, and then I will see you guys when we find the next fossil. Hmm. Oh, Shiny Almanite! Dude, right in the middle! Let's go! Finally! 
Perfect, man. All right, that's one. Oh no, it's on the sensitive. It's on the sensitive DS. I know I'm gonna. I know as soon as I touch this, it's gonna freak out and mess everything up. But we found one shiny Ammonite. We need one more. We got it. Cool. Very very good. Low, lower background music. Is it too loud? But yeah, I'm gonna end the reaction here for YouTube. I will see you guys in the next one. Yay! Oh no! I think I just reset over Shani! I did! I just reset over Shani! No! I reset over it! No! I reset over Ammonite! Oops! Well, reset the counter. There! Oh my god, I told you, dude. I told you we'd reclaim it. Easy. That's, you know, that's, I, I saw into the future. I had like a, that's a Raven moment. I knew it was coming. That's why I reset over the, the first one, dude. It, I, it's all part, it was just, it was content, man. That's all I did for. I knew it. Easy. All right. <laughs> shiny, shiny Ammonite number two. Um, and that completes the Ammonite line. Now all we need is Aerodactyl. Got it. Come on, bro. Come on. I'm about to Hulk smash be like Tyler here in a second, bro. Yeah, what in the oh. oh shiny aerodactyl, there it is. Oh my god. Yay! I almost missed that. I legit my all my my fingers were on the reset button. There it is. Shiny air. That was so pretty too. Look how pretty and purple and all the fuck. That was a lot more noticeable than I thought it'd be. All the fossils are done. Pog, dude. Pog. About time. It's four thousand. What do you mean? Easy. All right. Well, that's all the fossils. That's what gonna, hey, who did that? What are you doing? Um, that's where I'm gonna end the I guess the video for YouTube. So. I'll see you guys in the next hunt. Very cool, yay! Hey guys, I'm back in my Master Leaf Green with the show off for these beautiful fossils. And while I'm evolving these Pokemon, I just want to update you guys real quick. As of this video, I'm completely caught up in documenting all my shinies. I'm currently hunting Growlithe, Vulpix, and Ditto in the Pokemon Mansion, and we're on Phase 3. So it'll be a little while before we complete that hunt. But be on the lookout for that video next. Again, thank you all so much for watching the video and the continuous support. I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!